is, do I see a sign telling me not to go down here? And the answer to that question is no. Oh, but there is a gate. That is not a gate that I can get under or around either, so. Oh, this hill is too steep. I'm gonna have to turn the pig off. This is embarrassing. Might as well record my pain. I got myself into this situation. Maybe having a video record of it will help me avoid such stupidity in the future. Oh God, this is a hell of a lot steeper than it looks. Yeah, you can laugh at me if you want. I deserve it. Hey, let's get the hell out of here. This park has scorned me. Thank you. Signal your intent, lady. <laughs> Disgusting. What the f It's too hot for this. I really need to do a chain adjustment on this bike and I probably should clean it and lube it eventually too. I haven't gotten around to doing that in a while. Ugh, and I'm gonna need new tires soon. I would never do tires myself, I'll take that to a shop anyway, but there's a lot of other stuff I've been taking my bike to the shop for recently. And that's partly because I don't have any power tools and I used to have those power tools, and it's not like these jobs can't be done without power tools, but I'm sort of spoiled because I used to work in a shop, and having tools sure is nice, you know, really good tools. And my tools were stolen out of my garage, actually out of my dad's garage. Let me put this caper together for you. Let me give you the clues. I'll give you the evidence, the things that went missing. And you tell me if you can figure out how this caper went down. Exactly what happened. I'm hoping you guys can figure it out and tell me in the comments, and if you get it right, I'll let you know. So, what happened was, unfortunately what happened was, uh, I, have, I was keeping my tools at my dad's house because I had lost my job as a uh, BMW tech. So they were sitting in his garage in a nice looking tool case, and uh, my dad forgot to close the garage when he came home on New Year's Eve. This was a long time ago, obviously. But he forgot to close the garage, so the garage was wide open. And the next morning, the things we found to be missing were all of my tools, one super huge piece of rolling luggage, and one bicycle. So anyway, that was a huge, 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 massive amount of money's worth of very expensive shop quality power tools that just got, you know, taken away. And normally your homeowner's insurance would cover that, you know, if they were stolen, but they have to be stolen in a, you know, someone has to break into your house and steal your stuff or homeowner's insurance won't cover it. So unfortunately, since my dad left the garage door open and the, the homeowner's insurance company discovered that he left it open, that ended up being my dad's fault. They don't consider it the thief's fault at that point. How rich is that? They considered it my dad's fault. They blame my dad for the tools going missing. So they wouldn't cover it. So obviously I'm not going to spend another 10, 15, 20 thousand dollars to replace those tools. So I just don't have the tools and I don't do a lot of work on my own stuff anymore. I'm not mad at this guy because it's actually legal what he's doing. You know, you guys can all be haters as much as you want. Uh, I am a bicyclist myself and I fully support any legal activity that a bicyclist chooses to do. You know, even if you don't like it, the law is the law and it's never okay for you to endanger or injure a human being because what they're doing is inconvenient for you. So leave bicyclists alone, please, for the love of God, just leave them alone. 
when they are breaking the law, I have no mercy for them. So <laughs> have Adam, I guess. But you know, when they are obeying the law, even if you don't like the law, that doesn't just open up the right for you to kill them. Which apparently is news to some people. A surprisingly large number of people.